Welcome to Star Stable with Stacy. Stacy here on Spirit. There was some new quests this week, but we cannot partake on them yet. Not just yet, but we're getting there because we saved Lisa. <sighs> but we can't do them yet. So we still have some work to do. But before we begin, I wanted to stop by and visit Farah. Farah's here for one week only, and she's selling some very special druid clothes. So of course we have to get the druid clothes. Oh, they look so cool. Pharaoh looks cool. Check her out. Ooh, hi. You must be Nova. How I knew that? <laughs> Let's just say I know some good tricks. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Farah. I'm a traveling tailor, always on the hunt for new beautiful cloth. <laughs> I suspect there some of these clothes I've created might be of interest to you. Unfortunately, I'm not staying in the area for long. I rarely stay long in any place. But don't worry, sooner or later I'll come back. If you're interested, come and look in my shop. You won't regret it, Nova, I promise. Well, let's see what you have, Farrell. Oh, oh, these are beautiful. Can we turn a little bit? Yes. Oh, that's super cute. So we have some new models in the game. The green tunic and I believe the boots. Yes, our brand new models we have not seen before. Hello. There we go. That's a little better. Oh, I love it. Oh, and a new beanie. Oh, no, I need to make some room in my bag. <laughs> and pants. Super cool. Take a look at us. We look awesome. Yay, Spirit's happy too. Oh, I'd really like to check out some of the gear they have here, but of course Spirit can't wear gear. So let's trade out and come back. Spell Dancer got some druid style gear as well from here in Veildale. I really like the saddle. Not sure about the saddle pad, but it matches our race ribbon for now. And the leg wraps came from another set too, but we'll keep searching. But I wanted to keep it in the spirit of the druid kind of aesthetic. So we went ahead and bought some new things. And we're going to talk now to Elizabeth Sunbeam about what happened last time. Lisa's been rescued? Great news! I wasn't sure you'd succeed, but Aiden's light shines strong in you, and you can handle great challenges well. You are a true hero. I'll summon the druids for a meeting in the Secret Stone Circle immediately. See you there. Oh, so we must head up to the runestones and then make our way around this spiral and into the secret meeting place. Where's Lisa? There she is! Everyone's here, almost. We don't have Anne yet. Hi again, and a big thank you to you, Nova. Together with Starshine, you managed to save Lisa. Finally, Lisa's back. Brilliant! Really, Nova, great work. It's good to be back and see you all. I've really missed you. At one point, I thought I'd never see daylight again. But now I'm here again, with all of my friends. The Soul Riders are almost at full strength, and soon we'll have gathered all four partial copies of the Light Ceremony book. When we're ready and the time has come, we'll perform the Light Ceremony and be protected. For now, though, the time isn't right. Lisa, you should know that Dark Core have their hands on the original Light Ceremony book. Everything points to that they'll attempt to conduct the ceremony backwards, which will have catastrophic consequences. That doesn't sound good at all. What will they gain by this? What is their goal? If they perform the ceremony backwards, the crack between our realities and Pandoria will widen. In the worst case, that which keeps our world separated will tear apart. What exactly happens next? We don't really know. One guess is that both our worlds will cease to exist, or at least cease to existing in the form and shape we know today. Dark Horror thinks they'll be able to control the enormous flow of Pandoric energy, and will likely use it as an attempt to seize control of the world. Maybe they know something we don't, but the druids are convinced it cannot lead to anything good. It will probably lead to the end of the world, so it needs to be stopped at all costs. I never thought I would be discussing the end of the world with a magic squirrel. That was a brief summary of the current situation. 
Lisa, could you tell us what happened to you? You were kidnapped and taken to Pandoria? As you know, I was on world tour with my rock band, and I'd been away from Jorvik for a while. When I finally ended my tour and came back to Jorvik, those ill-willed dark riders succeeded in ambushing Starshine and I. Then they imprisoned me in the horrific world of Pandoria. Starshine and I weren't on our guard. That's a mistake we'll never repeat. Later I was rescued, as you know, thank goodness. In Pandoria, I got in touch with the primeval tree, the Sleeping Widow. It was blurred and unclear, but her roots seemed to penetrate even into the unknown world of Pandoria. The primeval tree slept in our world, but in the dreamscape of Pandoria, she could reach out to me and communicate. She said she could help me out of Pandoria, but the only way to do so was to wake her up. As a gesture in return, I was to help her with something. I don't know what yet, but I plan to find out. My time in Pandoria is incoherent and blurred, but one other thing happened. I got a strong feeling Anne was there at the same time as me. It wasn't just a weak sensation. I could really feel her presence, and it was clear. Because of this, I'm convinced Anne is there, and we have to try to save her. Maybe the primeval tree can help us again. I don't know. Interesting news. Maybe Anne is in Pandoria. It would be great if we could locate her and save her as well. I would go so far as to say it's completely necessary. In a worst case scenario, it would require a rescue operation in Pandoria, but that'd have to be our last resort. At full strength, we would be very powerful. We also need to be aware of the dangers of a trip to Pandoria. One does not simply walk into Pandoria. I am not afraid. We have to save her no matter what the risk. We owe it to her. If we have the slightest lead, we have to follow it up. We're always there for each other 100%. Yes, Alex, we'll do that. No doubt about it. I don't long to go back, but for Anne's sake... Another matter. I wonder if we could lure Justin away from the grip of the Dark Riders. He and I went to the same school. I, I know him a little. And Nova? Oh, oh no, I clicked it. If we can remove Justin from Dark Core and the Dark Riders, they'll weaken even more, it's true. A at least Nova stopped Justin from turning his horse into a Dark Horse. That's good. Something, I guess. Last time Nova visited the headquarters of Dark Core and saw Justin, he seemed quite determined to continue to work for the Dark Side. We'll have to think of something to make him change his mind. If you could remove Justin from Dark Core, it would be a massive achievement. But for now, we'll focus on the light ceremony we'll be performing when the time is right. We'll also keep an eye on any movements that Dark Core makes. We also need to find the other copies of the book, and try to rescue Anne. This meeting is adjourned for now. We'll see each other soon. Welcome back to reality, Lisa. And yet again, many thanks to you, Nova, for your efforts for the Keepers of Aideen. May the light of Aideen shine upon us and scatter the darkness that surrounds us. And listen, Lisa, don't forget to return the favor. The primeval trees have a tendency of primeval rage if they feel tricked. And the wrath of the primeval tree is the last thing we need right now. See you. <laughs> hey, uh, don't make this tree mad. You know, go have... Okay, bye. <laughs> Look at that. Another druid meeting conducted. In my druid gear. Did we get wiser? Lisa's been rescued thanks to you, and we had a lead on Anne, but other than that, we're still going over the same ground. We need to collect the other two book copies so we can prepare ourselves to perform the ceremony when the time comes. Later, we need to follow up on the information about Anne. But are we really ready to conduct a rescue operation in Pandoria? Isn't that doomed to fail? Maybe there's another way. Maybe the Sleeping Widow can help us again. But before that, we probably have to return her favor. We'll have to keep our eyes and ears on the Dark Riders and their antics. It's obviously important to them to destroy us, and they nearly took you to Pandoria. We need to take counteraction. Lisa, welcome back to Jorvik Stables! Hi, Nova. Now I feel truly rested after our recent hardships. I'm ready to talk with the Sleeping Widow to be able to repay the debt I have to her after she helped me out of Pandoria. Perhaps you can help me with that? You know that ancient tree better than I do at this point, and I have the feeling that I won't exactly get away with being given an easy task. How lovely that you want to help me. I'm afraid I'm going to need all the help I can get. Let's find out what kind of payoff the Sleeping Widow is expecting. I'm curious as to what it could be. Right then, ready for a little adventure? Nice, let's see who's going to get to the Sleeping Widow first. Oh, the last one to the primeval tree is a little piggy. 
Take whatever route you like. I'm thinking I'll probably go through Goldspur Farm and over the north of Grey Dew Mountain. Starshine, run like the wind! Oh, where do we go? I don't remember where it is. Oh. Maybe we should just follow her, but she's so fast! Look at her go! Lisa! <laughs> Oh no, she disappeared! Oh, I wasn't sure we would make it, but I remembered some shortcuts. Yes! We finished! Do we beat her? We beat her! Yes! Oh, Lisa, looks like you're the little piggy! Haha, <laughs> that was fun! You did it! You won! So I guess that means it's me who's the little piggy. <laughs> but little pigs are cute too, right? Yes, they are! We have a few we keep in our saddlebag. Is she really still awake? Seems like she's sleeping. Maybe we can just get out of here? She's probably forgotten all about our favors and arrangements. Come on, we'll head home. It's probably for the best. You want to try getting through to her? I suppose that's a good idea. Try talking to her and we'll see. Oh, Lisa, I'm so happy to be standing here with you. Oh, she's nodding off. Creak. About time. I wonder where you'd all got to. Oh, you're awake after all. Creak. My dear friend, I'm awake as I can be. Firstly, I just want to repeat my thanks for helping me out of Pandora's prison. Without your help and the help of Starshine and Nova, I'd never have been able to leave. I'm here to repay my debt to you. I'm completely at your service. What could I possibly do to repay you for the which you did for me? Creak. I helped you out of your prison. Now I want you to help me out of mine. My wish is that you help me once again become a part of the contact network of the primeval trees, and I'm certain you can help me. Humans took the lives of my kin with their barbaric deforestation. Such despicable treatment. I will never forgive them, even though they realized it was a hideous mistake. Traitors, deceitful in soul and nature. Well, well. As if it wasn't enough that I was left alone when the lives of my kin were torn down, I was also disconnected from our network. Beneath of all this death, the roots that connected me to my kin withered away and died, leaving me isolated from the community. My roots may well reach all the way to Pandoria, but they don't reach as far as the next living primeval tree. My companion was the link between me and the next tree and was... Therefore, the only connection to the network of roots that make it possible for us to communicate. I have been in touch with my kind for centuries. I thought perhaps you might help in taking care of that, Lisa and Nova. Dearest ancient tree, it's a true honor to receive such a task. Do you have any, uh, some kind of suggestion as to how we might exactly go about it? Ah, uh, Lisa, I have a suggestion. When Aedine came to the world, she healed the land and spread life over the dead cliffs. With her song, her music, and her light, you can ride over the bay and bring my roots back to life so that I might reconnect with the primeval tree at Scarecrow Hill. Uh, difficult? No, no, my little friends. Aedine did it, and so can you. But Aedine was like, special. You're not trying to wriggle out of your agreement, are you? You won't disappoint me. Like all the other treacherous humans have always done. Oh, of course not! Nope, not all humans are deceitful in their soul and nature. We are definitely not petty traitors. But the legend of Aideen's ancient exploits is exactly that. Just a legend! How do we... Creak? I don't know how you'll do it. Aideen could... You'll simply have to figure out how she did it. Now it's just a matter of a few roots. Aideen actually created life. I'm not asking for these kinds of miracles from you. How hard can it be? Uh, no. It, it can't be that difficult. Or... 
My roots need to reach across the bay. Oh, there's the tree. You can see the primeval tree on Scarecrow Hill from here. So close, yet so, so far. When my roots reach the other side, I'll be a part of the network of primeval trees again. You must help me. We'll do our absolute best. We promise to do everything in our power to help you. I know you're capable. Aideen was. I've spoken now. It's up to you to get this done. The time for talking is over. Whew. That tree is serious business. Right over water? Bring dead roots back to life? How's that going to work? It all sounds pretty tricky. I doubt it'll work out. Aideen is a lot to live up to. I've got an idea how we'll follow through on her request. I suppose we can at least start with a little recon reconnaissance. Let's get going and see if we can locate the remains of the sawn down primeval tree. I seem to remember seeing a huge tree stump when I've been out riding by the beach a little north of here. Let's go and check it out. What do you guys think we're going to have to do to be able to save this tree? I'm very worried because Aideen was very special and... I'm not sure we can live up to that. Do we hold the same power that she did? Is there maybe another way that we can help the tree that's not as magical as Aideen? I have no idea, but we'll have to find out next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!